Hello, I'm Sydney Ward. And I'm Isabella Bonacera. And welcome to Season 3 of Between the Bells. On Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 o'clock to 4.30, Open Gym will be housed for girls basketball. Yearbook pre-orders have started for $40 and will continue at this price until December 31st. From January 1st to March 8th, the yearbook price will be $50. Books will be given out in June. On December 14th, VTC is hosting a Triad Major Day for sophomores and juniors. Operation Happiness is looking for donations of clothing and coats. Please bring the donations to Mr. Coldis' room in W208. Donations will be dropped off on December 13th. If you didn't go to the first improv team meeting, on Monday we'll be meeting again from 3 to 5 if you'd like to join us. Reminder, when Officer French sends the emergency evacuation email, please save this email to your phone or somewhere you where you can access this quickly in case of an emergency. Now to Megan in the gym with sports. Hi, I'm Megan Buckley here to give you the latest with this week's sports. Winter sports are kicking off in Vermont. Basketball tryouts for the girls were last Monday and Tuesday. Boys basketball and girls hockey tried out Monday through Wednesday of last week as well. Hockey tryouts for the boys were Monday through Wednesday and they had one more day on Friday. This week there are no games. Next week on Tuesday, Comets basketball plays away at MMU, JV at 5.30, Varsity at 7. December 7th and 8th, Comets hockey scrimmages Potsdam, New York, Friday at 5.30 and Saturday at 11. I'm here with varsity basketball player Landon Poppin. Landon, tell us about your fundraiser. Yeah, so we're just selling cups for $20 a pop. Um, if you would like one, just stop a varsity player in the hallway and uh, tell them you'd like to buy one. Also, uh, don't forget to come by Essex tonight and watch the Bob Whites scrimmage the Hornets. That's all, now back to the studio. Thanks, Megan. Sounds like a slam dunk. Now to Isaac with lunch. Hello and welcome to the lunch segment for this week. Today for lunch we have meatball subs with homemade cornbread and broccoli salad. Tomorrow for lunch we have homemade macaroni and cheese with homemade cornbread. And then last but not least on Friday we have homemade pancakes with real maple syrup. And now back to the news desk for the rest of the segment for this week. Thanks Isaacs, sounds delicious. Now to the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's Riley and Gavin with Kids in the Hall. You want some interviews? You want some interviews? Hi, I'm here with Adsel. Adsel, how do you feel about the doors opening at 8.05? Eh, not my favorite. I prefer 8 o'clock, just because it's a lot easier to get to classes on time with the 8 o'clock start time. Do you feel like with the doors opening at 8.05, it makes the building more secure? I mean, no, because especially like in the other building, the doors are open on one side anyway, so there's people walking around. It doesn't really... It doesn't, in my opinion, change much. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Stefan. Um, he, he's a senior. And uh, what do you think about the buildings opening at 8.05 on the late days now? I think it's a bad decision. Um, it is too cold out here to only be holding us to 8.05. It should be opened at like 8 or even earlier. It's too cold. That's it. I'm here with Will. Will, how do you feel about the 8.05 start time? I think it's just generally inconvenient. Um, it's making a lot of people late and just waiting outside is just kind of a pain. I think it would just be better if, it's, if the building opened at 8. Is there a start time that you would prefer the doors to open at? Definitely 8 or possibly even earlier, but I know teachers have collaboration so they can't before 8. But I think just after 8, it's just pointless. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Asa. Uh, he's a junior. And uh, what do you think about the buildings opening at 805 on the late days now? Uh, I don't like it. I'm freezing as it is, and I think we should get into school as fast as we can. Hi, I'm here with Brock for the third time. Fourth time. Fourth time. Well, yeah, whatever. Second time for me, fourth time in all. Brock, how do you feel about the 805 start time? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> You know, I, honestly, I get here at like 8.30 all the time anyway, so uh, it's really not, doesn't, doesn't affect me, you know what I mean? Like, uh, 
see if I got here at like seven o'clock, like all those other crazy kids that want good parking spots, I'd I'd be a little upset and be like, well, man, get me in the building. But I don't care. Okay? You heard it here first, folks. Brock doesn't care. Thank you. I'm a senior. And I'll be one next year, too. <laughs> Just kidding. Are you? <laughs> Interesting interviews. Be sure to follow us on Snapchat to get information on where the next interviews are. Tune in next week for another episode of Between, Between the Bells. Bells.